Hey guys, that's Brawl here and welcome back for more Jurassic Park Operation Genesis. Now I have a bit of bad news. Um, not a way I want to start the video off, but unfortunately uh, there's nothing I can do about it. So I went to record two of these, uh, or a couple of these videos, um, yesterday. Yesterday being the... what day was it? Yesterday, Tuesday. Tuesday the 26th of January. Yep. I want to do some of these videos for you guys to post them up. And you probably noticed in my channel that there hasn't been very many videos going on. Pretty much because I'm getting ready for playlists and getting a few playlists ready so we can start uh, making more videos, more different videos and stuff like that there and what to put on my channel. I've also been doing a lot of uh, background uh, work on my Steam uh Steam group. If you want to check it out below, there's a link in the description. Um, I've also been doing it. Doing bits and pieces, so I we'll have sort of thing. But what really annoyed me was I was on this here the other day, uh, or yesterday, should I say, trying to record some video for you guys because I know you always like this here. Um, and by the way, thanks very much. Greatly appreciate it. And I must have done like three videos, four videos. Uh, when I went to start editing them stuff, uh, they didn't record. And it really annoyed me. Um, so pretty much this here episode is going to be is going to be pretty much what I'm going to show you what I did in those videos. Now there's not a great deal that, that you missed. Uh, we did get hit by another twister, and as it didn't do much damage to the exhibits apart from the Pachycephalosaurus one, which it always seems to like every time we have a twister, it always hits these guys. I feel sorry for these guys. It never hit. It, it destroyed some of the buildings or damaged the buildings, but the only dinosaur casualty was uh, this here, these guys. Right, so what we'll do, we'll start from over here. I have now got a, this here, which is Um I've got them 100%. I've also got Corinthiosaurus 100%. So this, this episode, what we'll do is we'll release Corinthiosaurus into this here exhibit. At least you'll get one dinosaur. Uh, uh, you'll be able to see one dinosaur being released as the state of the two that I actually thought I had recovered or done the last time. So yeah, I said two because we've got another dinosaur to show off. So the Stragosaurus, I put them pretty much in here, had a wee path built round with a rest area and all so people could see um, what they're doing and stuff. So this is this side. Um, nothing else over here. I put in a visitor shelter. I'm not entirely sure if I did that the last episode or I did this episode one of the episodes that I did. But yeah, you have a visitor cell shelter now. Um, everything else is same path. Uh, goes up here. And we also have Velociraptors. We now have four, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, four Velociraptors in here. I'm going to make it a fifth one. So we have a pack of them. Uh, we have Velociraptors too, all at 100% as well. Um, I end up buying just two fossils from the fossil market to get them 100%. Mm -hmm. And pretty much, this is the one I'm really bummed about because I know you guys always like to see like the big dinosaurs, the five star attractions not being released. And uh, the Frost Raptors was one that I did, was the second from last video, which really bummed me out because I know you guys actually like it. The other ones, I'm sure you'd really like them being seen, seen being done, but. As, no, as for the floss raptors and stuff, you know what it's like. I would love to see floss raptors as well. But pretty much that's all that's really happened. I done those two exhibits. I done a few, but a bit of footering about, just putting stuff in. I don't know what I'm currently researching at the moment. Nothing apparently. So we're gonna research this bad boy. Um, what we're going to do is I say we're going to release some Corinthiosaurus into the exhibit. Um, we're still waiting on the T-Rex getting 100%, so we are, so it's you haven't missed me releasing the T-Rex yet, don't worry about that. So what we'll do is we'll fly over here, we'll have to take a wee scoot over here. Um, our dig team, every ex it, they're all exhausted. It's all exhausted, all these things, and um, we need to get more fossils in. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to release some Corinthiosaurus into here. Uh, we'll release three. Why the heck not? It's not that big of an exhibit. And what we'll maybe do is we will maybe set up for the next episode. Get the the exhibit for the um, what do you call that? The safari on the go so we will 
We'll do the, the we'll do the cage for the safari for the safari. Trying to think. I think it's gonna be in here. I think this is gonna be it. So let's see. Yep, there we go. Because in here, obviously, you know we're going to have the, the actual safari thing. So here we have a big enough area. This is going to be our main attraction, sort of like our main safari sort of thing. Now, what I'm going to do, I was thinking maybe... Oh, sweet. Trinosaurus. Um, we'll go down. Oh, crap. We'll go down and see the Corinthiosaurus come out. There they are. I actually really like their skin. I think it's pretty cool. Um... Obviously the skin that the oh, he sees now. I still don't know why they do that. I think it's because I think definitely my game's broke. I do have another game on the way. I bought one from eBay. I took the hit, forty pound on eBay, and took got another one coming. So as soon as that other one comes, I will probably um, try and get this on the CEX or something and sell the CEX. It doesn't work the greatest, but I'm sure someone will find some use out of it. Um, but yeah, so we have a Corinthiosaurus, so that's pretty good. What we're going, to, uh, I, I don't know why they keep seizing, but say like I said, back to the skin. I think I, I really like the skin in this here, um, Corinthiosaurus, like the tiger striped. Um, the forgotten mod added some really nice skins too. But we're going to go into, excuse me, we're going to go into. Um, A new mod, hopefully, once my um, new game comes, we're going to go into the Jurassic World mod that I've seen a couple of people do, uh, which adds all the, the Indominus Rex and all that there, Caper and a few other ones, which would be pretty cool. Um, so we're going to go into that there mod once my new disc arrives. But anyway, enough bobbling. What we're going to do is we're going to maybe start... How much path do I have? I don't know. We're going to like do... Bit um, a connection. Oh, no, wrong thing. Right, we'll double it up if we can. Right, and in here we're going to have more food things. Uh, we'll see, we'll do the food things and stuff first. We're going to have that. We're going to have obviously the toilets. Um, we're going to have, does the rest area fit in between? It does, happy days. And we're also going to have a souvenir shop. Wrong button. There we go. Uh, bear with me guys, I'm just going to make a quick save because as you all know it has been crashing a lot as well my game. There we go. Just to make sure that I don't have to do this again, which I'm um, sure you wouldn't want me to do. Now, the safari itself, it is going to go... Here. I have to create a, tr a track to follow, apparently. not that big of a track because obviously you have up here and stuff to do but can you create two tracks I think you can create two tracks I'm not entirely sure oh, this ankylosaurus keeps uh, um, collapsing the velociraptors are attacking something there. But anyway, back to this here safari thing. Can you make two tracks or is it just a balloon? Or oh, you can just create a path. I don't want the right open, I want to close at the moment. Cause, but like I said, yeah, it's not really that much. But obviously I think the dinosaurs will all be around this area. We'll start putting in the... Oh, why have I not got... Oh, I can't use... 
Oh dear goodness, I've got to delete one of the. I'm actually going to have to delete. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. You only have eight hatcheries, that sucks. Uh, I've got to delete one of the hatcheries and build one up here and then also delete one for the Tranosaurus exit which is going to go in this here area here. Uh, well we're going to have to sort of like deals fix something, fix that a wee bit but that'll be no problem. So it will when we come to it. Uh, let's see what was it going to do. Right so that there, uh, do you know what? I'll delete, I'll, I'll bulldoze um, this one for the meantime. And then what we'll do is we will uh, uh, where's it? No, we will um, if we need it again, we'll delete it. We'll once we get all the dinosaurs, we'll delete it from here as well. I was thinking of maybe doing an entrance up here, should do like another entrance, but I would have to like do it's something like that, so it means they're gonna be flying over the dinosaurs. Ah screw it. And the T-Rex exhibit's gonna be down here, so it's gonna be pretty cool. So uh, I'm gonna crank this up to eight hundred a touch now. Um We'll go put some decorations in because we don't really have decorations mm. around here. Oh, here I also need to. I also need to join a path here as well, which would help. Do do do. We'll put another rest area in. No, nope, that's the wrong thing. We'll put another rest area here because obviously it's going. It's pretty far. It's pretty far to go. People are going to have to walk up here. Right, I'm going to start putting dinosaurs in. We'll start with the small ones. We'll put these guys in. Five Gallimimuses. We'll put them up at ten or something, so we will. The only thing is, if a twister hits, it's going to destroy the majority of this here bloody park, so it's not pretty good. We're getting some crowds down here, which is excellent. Um, so, there's dinosaurs here as well. I'm hoping. I should maybe close this one, you know. Does that mean close to all of them, though? Have I closed them all? Oh, I have. Damn. Okay, so people are going to be going up there and being really disappointed that there's no dinosaurs or anything around. Unless they're going to safari. And they'll see all the Gallimimuses running about. Uh, terrain, can I sort of like flatten some of this? I can. Happy days. But like I said, guys, this is going to be the end of this first video. Um, like I said, you, this is what we're doing uh, from now on. We're going to be doing, we're going to wait till the T Rex comes. And we're going to build in a big, massive like, enclosure here for the T Rex. We're going to fill this out with herbivores, and hopefully that will be the end. Once this is all filled out, We'll see how it goes. Try and get a five star rating. Um, it's sunny for the past next couple of months, which is good. And we'll see what the deal is um, when we hit five stars, if we've completed everything or not. And what I might do is I might do what to see it like I did the last time, which is unleash hell, like break the uh, floss raptors and stuff out, and just see what happens. But until next time, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. I apologise for what happened the last time. Um, like I said, it was out of my control and it really did put me off. But I didn't want to disappoint you guys, so I'm back um, doing some of these. I'm hoping this is recorded. If not, I will be severely annoyed. Um, and I might just put it up to a video to say that this here series is cancelled because it's just not recording. But um, I don't know what it is. It's Bandy Camp's playing up. But until then, have a nice day, guys. Please leave a like. It helps me out and lets me know that you're enjoying this series. Um, it's greatly appreciated. Of course, if you're not liking this series, hit the dislike. I'm not. Uh, it'll also let me know that my right, people don't really like it. Um, it's no hard feelings or anything like that there. It just lets me know what you want to see in my channel. But anyway, thank you for watching. Have a nice day, whatever you're doing. And bye for now.